NBA is proposing a new schedule that will restart the season a few days before Christmas Day. They do not want to have the ring ceremony the day before or uh, the day of Christmas. They want it to be like the day before. A reduced schedule of 72 games instead of 82 and to finish the season on time. The NBA owners have reevaluated. They realize how important Christmas Day is. And in their meeting today, they have made the recommendation to begin uh, on Christmas or slightly before with a slightly reduced season, uh, perhaps about 72 games, finishing uh, on time in uh, uh, you know, mid to late June and back on schedule for 21-22. The main objective of the owners and the league is to basically get time slots back where they don't have to compete with the NFL. Then they also want to get fans back in the arenas so they can make up for all that revenue. A lot of people don't understand if the NBA did not do the bubble, they would have standard to lose $1.5 billion with the revenue. So just doing the bubble alone, say the 1.5 billion, if they are able to put fans in the stand, they can go ahead and even make more revenue off of people that are willing to come to the games. This sort of feels like when you were a kid and your parents put you on punishment and your friends come and they're throwing rocks at the window like, hey, oh man, come outside, man. You're like, man, I'm on punishment. And they, here's the number one line you hear. Man, forget your mom, forget your dad. They, they don't run everything, man. You don't have to listen to what they say. And you go out and then you get caught coming back, trying to sneak back in the house anyway. Yeah, I feel like the NBA owners are coming back a little too soon and the fact that they want to put fans back in the arenas during the time when COVID is going to be ramping back up. It already is. The cases are going to be ramping back up. You're risking players getting coronavirus. So then that's going to, you have to cancel games, revisit games, replay games and stuff like that. So people who actually bought tickets will have to miss those games. And you're putting people, uh, workers at risk. So this feels like NBA, they got that urge, they're on punishment, you know, COVID is that punishment, putting everybody on lockdown. And then they're like, well, that inkling, that inkling is throw, throwing pebbles at, at that window. Come on, man, let's get back in the stands. Look at the NFL, they're able to do it. They have they have COVID uh, positive tests, but they reschedule the games. Come on, guys. I feel like this is gonna bite the NBA in the ass, especially with the players. The players that did play in the bubble, they're a little burnt out. And they're rightfully so because not only did they have to contend with COVID protocol, but they, you know, their families being away, they may have to play the game at a high level. Mind you that, they had to play at a high level. Like for If you're like the Los Angeles Lakers, this is a big disadvantage for you because your older team, all the teams that played in the bubble, this is a big disadvantage for you because it's just like you played, you stayed in the bubble. Yeah, you didn't have to travel, but mentally, uh, it's mentally taxing. Physically, in terms of you had to play high competition, and guess what? A lot of the distractions and a lot of the TV timeouts you didn't get, and you know it, it was to me the bubble was a lot is more intense. That being said, you know it's a different manner for the people that did play in the bubble. Like a lot of teams didn't play in the bubble. Like all the 22 teams, they might love it, but the the, the ones that went to the bubble, like come on. So this this doesn't feel right. This feels like, and this is just intuition talking your gut feeling talking the of course the the nba wants to get the revenue back the revenue sharing of course everybody had low ratings i'm pretty sure every nfl game is not rating the same so for the nba to kind of overreact and try to be, do run such an ambitious plan it, it seems like it's doomed to fail from the very onset and then you got to think about the collective bargaining agreement under which they could tear up there are so many things floating in the air I feel like this is very ambitious. I, I thought they were going to start at the top of the year, but this is like, whoa, this, this is crazy. But it makes sense because they, they want to get their ratings back. They also don't want to contend with the NFL. They want to contend with Major League Baseball. Like, these are some of the weirdest games we've seen. It's games on Sunday where NFL Sunday. I don't know how they're going to pull this off. Let me know what you think. Hoops Junction, Hoops Me Tupla. Like, comment, subscribe.